Welcome to our deep dive into the EPA 27 X15. I'm Jared Holcomb, product manager for the X15 diesel products. And today we're gonna to look at the details and improvements to the current platform that we'll offer as we launch our EPA 27 product. The X15 has over 25 years of experience in the North America heavy duty truck market. And we plan to carry that legacy forward with our EPA 27 product. Today, we'll dive into those improvements that show value to the customer, as well as establish the product as a trusted, proven, and simple design. A significant value to the customer comes in the form of fluid efficiency. Even while reducing NOx by 75%, we're able to offer significant fuel savings. The EPA 27 will offer up to 4% base engine fuel economy improvement, as we couple that with EX features and a full powertrain integration, we can add an additional 3% to that value, giving us a total of up to 7%, all while maintaining similar levels of DEF consumption as compared to EPA 24 product. The fuel system is now 2400 bar capable to ensure PM control as well as fuel efficiency. Our first change is the high pressure fuel pump which we've moved to a much more compact, opposed plunger design. We've also added active inlet metering to each of the plungers to ensure precise fuel control. The lift pump at the rear of the high pressure pump is much more compact, and all of these changes allow us to pull efficiency improvements out of the high pressure fuel pump. From an efficiency standpoint, we've also made changes to the turbocharger. Starting with the bearing system, we've changed to a roller element bearing that helps to keep our compressor and turbine wheels very tight and we can reduce our clearances. To couple with that, we've made aerodynamic improvements to the compressor wheels and the turbine wheels and a coating to reduce that clearance even further. The turbocharger will also receive an improved actuator and all of this with efficiency in mind. As part of the fuel efficiency improvements, we've made changes to our piston design this is an evolution of the current product with the welded design. We've made changes to the compression ratio via the bowl. And then for friction reduction, we've made changes to the piston skirt area, as well as the height of the piston pin, which both reduce friction as we move through the crank rotation, leading to improved fuel economy. We have made changes to the injectors. They are now higher flow, so it ensures we can supply the right amount of fuel when commanded. As we move towards 2027, emissions regulations become more strict. As a nationwide product, we've got components that we've added to the engine and we'll cover those next. In order to meet regulatory requirements, the EPA 27 X15 has had to move to a closed crankcase ventilation system. So we've taken technology from other Cummins applications and applied it to this engine. We take the fresh air from the valve cover it goes into our electronic rotational crankcase ventilation system. This system removes the aerosol oil from the air and returns the oil to the crankcase. And then the clean, fresh air moves along this tube and goes into the compressor inlet of the turbo. Even though we've added the closed crankcase ventilation system, it is maintenance-free, thus no increased cost to customers. For regulatory compliance, we have maintained our use of an EGR cooler. It is our first stage of NOx removal coming directly out of the engine. We have taken all of our learnings from current product X15, applied them here, and simply repackaged them for use in this architecture. One difference you may notice is a 48 volt alternator that's been added in response to the EPA 27 regulations. It's a familiar technology repurposed from other applications. It's integrated on the engine via a dedicated belt drive and supplies 48 volts solely to the after treatment system. The EPA 27 X15 will carry over maintenance intervals from current product, ensuring that we launch with market leading TCO, which enables productivity and uptime for the customers. We'll be moving to cartridge style filters on both fuel and lube. As an example, we have our permanent filter shell with a drain for service and then the removable cartridge. This should assist in maintenance costs as well as the environmental impact. To maximize efficiency during maintenance events, we have a suite of digital features that can help you maximize uptime, utilize predictive capabilities to reduce the number of shop visits, and optimize your maintenance schedule 
including the maintenance monitor. Maintenance monitors carry over from current product and enables duty cycle driven oil drain intervals, allowing customers to extend their drain intervals up to 100,000 miles. We have a capable team with years of experience on the X15 product, and we've got an extensive validation plan to launch. Let me take you into some of the improvements related to reliability. One of those is our block design. We have incorporated the gear drive system into the rear of the block, adding stiffness to the block, and through the use of advanced engineering tools, we're able to remove weight, but maintain the reliability, stiffness, and durability through placing material where it's needed and removing material where it's not. In conclusion, we'll be offering one nationwide product offering market-leading fluid economy and the uptime and reliability X15 customers expect, enabling them to rise above the challenges of tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Hello, my name's Andy Smith. I lead product management for Cummins Emission Solutions. For 2027, there's more than just changes to the X15 engine. We'll also be introducing the brand new twin module after treatment system. Our system will actually go from the single module to two separate assemblies, a DPF assembly and an SCR assembly. On the inlet of each of these assemblies is a heater module. That's part of the Cummins electric heating system. It consists of two five kilowatt heaters like this that are installed at the inlet of the DPF assembly and at the inlet of the SCR assembly. They're powered by a water-cooled 48-volt alternator mounted on the engine. Why would we introduce electric heaters on our after treatment? The short answer is to ensure that we can be compliant in even the most challenging real-world operating conditions. Cold startups are a perfect opportunity for our electric heat. Regardless of the after treatment design, be it heated, not heated, dual dosing, or single dosing, like the twin module, catalysts are the key to making it work. And catalysts only do their job when they're at or above a certain minimum temperature. Electric heat allows us to provide heat directly in front of the catalyst exactly when and exactly where it's needed. By doing so, we bring them up to temperature quickly and start reducing emissions. Extra catalyst and overall system size is actually the second major reason why we use electric heat. In the twin module, by including two heaters, we're effectively utilizing heat instead of just adding more catalyst. The NOx emissions limits are reducing by greater than 75% for EPA 27. Yet the X15 twin module's catalyst size is only 7% larger than the current product single module. That's the benefit of electric heat. We exhaustively searched the market to see what was available, but ultimately there were no products existing that met our standards for durability, heating power, and also low back pressure to the exhaust flow. For that reason, we've designed our own. The replacement procedure for one of these inlets is relatively similar to the servicing and replacement of a DPF, which means less downtime and get you back out on the road. There's more to the 2027 twin module after treatment than just electric heat, however. For the twin module, we've been able to leverage the familiar design of a DOC DPF single injection with a UL2.2 injector and an SCR. This is the type of system that our customers have been used to since 2010. However, you will notice that the system is significantly bigger than the single module. And that is what's led us to divide them into two separate assemblies, the DOC, DPF, and the SCR. This does come with an additional weight. Fortunately, improvements on the X15 engine side have reduced weight sufficiently so that as an overall engine and after treatment system, it's weight neutral. Tighter emissions will not mean that you have to sacrifice payload capacity. To maximize flexibility for integration into various chassis, we also 
offer our standard end inlets, side inlets such as this one, and on the outlet end, side outlets or end outlets. By allowing our customers to select their inlet and outlet options, and even the connection types for their tubing, they can take the standard product and make it custom for their unique needs on their unique chassis. The most significant change that you'll see with the twin module relative to systems of the past has to do with our twin SCR design. The twin SCR offers parallel flow through two lanes, and we do that for two major reasons. The first reason is it reduces back pressure. Restrictive exhaust directly impact fuel economy. And by utilizing two parallel paths instead of just one path through the SCR, we're able to achieve a 44% reduction in back pressure relative to what we would have done had we used a single 13 inch diameter with the same volume. Additionally, when we go with the parallel flow twin SCR design, we reduce the overall length significantly. Had we simply increased the length of a classic SCR in a single module with 13 inch catalyst diameter, the system would be approximately one foot longer. We we're able to leverage catalyst technology that we're very familiar with, so much so that the DPF service intervals will remain exactly the same despite the significantly more stringent particulate regulations. Thank you for joining me for this brief overview of the EPA 27 twin module after treatment. By combining our proven familiar technology like the DOC DPF SCR that we've implemented and used since 2010, along with industry leading innovation in the form of the Cummins electric heating system, we are confident that we have the right robust solution for EPA 27 and beyond.